As you probably already guessed, in this video I'm going to be talking about how you can play audio, video or other media on um, Apple Watch from a remote server or a file. Now, this video itself is building off my last video in this series where I taught to you how to record audio on WatchKit 2. Um, and I'm going to be building on that, but with that being said, you can play audio from just any file or a remote server using this method. So it's really, really easy to play audio or video on Apple Watch. Um, to present the media player, we just go self.present. Um, present, present media player with controllers with URL. Jeez, these are long words. Um, and this accepts a URL, some options, and a completion handler. Now, the URL can either be a URL on a remote server with your video file, um, a URL that you already had in your file system with the video or audio you want to play, or, as I did in this video, a URL from recording audio. Um, so this is the last video in this series about presenting the audio recorder. And I'm going to use the same URL where I was saving in this video to um, play out media from. Now, the next thing in this is options. Um, if we look at the framework reference here, we can see there is a set of options that you can dictate. Yeah, there's all these options you can dictate. If you want to dictate them for this video, we don't need to. So we're just going to put a nil in here. And the next up is the completion handler. You do need this. Um, so the first boolean is called. So the first property is called did play to end. So I'm going to call that did end. Uh, the final one, the next one is end time. And the final one is error. Now, did play to end. And end time, you could use this, I don't know what you'd really use this for. Uh, you can work that out depending on what your app needs to do. But I will handle errors. So if error, uh, error uh, doesn't equal nil. So this means there is an error. I'm going to go print um, error. And we'll just print that error out. So let's just see what problems it has. Okay, so it's optional in the URL. Now we're going to run our app and I'll show you how you can play media on WatchKit. Now we can press the play button. Because I recorded something in the last video to that URL, it can play something. If I hadn't have recorded that in the last video, an error would have come up. It probably would have been file not found error. It would come up in the terminal. And of course, we can record something else. And yeah, so that's how you play audio, this same UI will come up for video, um, and yeah, it's a pretty, yeah, it's a pretty good way to play video and audio on WatchKit. I also should address that there's another way to play audio called um, long form, and it puts it into the sort of uh, native audio player like music would be, and that would probably be better if you're doing something like a podcast app, where you have really long audio chunks that play while your app isn't open. So that's another thing that you should look at if you're gonna be doing audio like that. 